So first thing first is to register your account with the estimating pro call. Um, first, of, so first thing first is to create your account with estimating.procore.com.au as you can see in the URL box up here. If you don't have an account, you're gonna have to click on register on the top right corner. Then put your email, name, password. Um, have to confirm your password once again, your number, and click continue. Um, the company name, type of the company you choose, and um, primary trade in the construction is also something of an option here. Um, one thing interesting is that upon creating your account, um, Procore is asking you for the number of estimators at your team or in your team. Um, this later will allow you to assign people and if you choose to subscribe to um, Procore estimating platform based on a monthly payment I guess it's $130 at the moment um, this number number of estimators team um, will allow you to assign your team members to the same platform to get access to your drawings, to the projects, to the tenders that has already been sent, and um, pretty handful. Um, so for now, I'm just putting it at two. Um, your company annual revenue is also something that you can put. Um, as for the address, I'm just putting something random, really, and click continue. So. I'm just going to create my account and on the next thing we're going to create a new project so as you can see um, you have all the tabs in here um, once you start a new project it starts from the estimating bit submitted means that um, when you send the tender when you send your quote to the client you can move the estimating project from this tab to the other tab uh, once the client can turn back to you with an acceptance um, from your code, uh, we can also click um, like drag and drop your submitted bid to the accepted and then um, like your sales team whoever is invoicing the client can then take care of the project from then. Um, in progress is when you actually start a project uh, on site, uh, workers are working and the project is completed delayed or lost or archived archived is the ones that are uh, done and dusted it's it's a story of the past and no longer exist um, so yeah these are all the categories in here on the even on a other tab you can see the calendar training and cost catalog so on the cost catalog which is the subject for um, the next lesson we'll get through what sort of cost catalogs we actually have uh, which was covered in the previous um, lesson as well on one of the um, lessons we've included that there are two main types of um, costs in any projects being materials that are often being outsourced or uh, human resources any type of administrative cost that your company may have um, the wages for the labors and all sort of things that falls into the category of human resources you can categorize that on this tab as well so um, let's create a new project you already have a project in here um, we can have a look at that as well as an example um, once I've clicked on the project it's going to ask for the project name so um, it depends really on you how to name your projects but um, what I normally do is to um, name a project for example Cronola high school which is actually a live project at the moment in Sydney and then I follow that with the address um, so let's say Sydney for now uh, the project number if you have a list of numbers for the projects that you um, take over in your company put it put the project number I would say just like that um, the estimator is me and um, if you have other team members they you can assign them to estimate as well 
um, the measures is metric and um, what is what an another important stuff that we can have in here so add your uh, add your customers details so let's say Zoe you is my customer and I'm actually uh, putting this ten uh, putting this quote in paper uh, preparing this code for her contact name or the company name will be total construction um, Zoe you email whatever uh, phone number address and so on and so for this later will appear on the um, tender or the beat that you are going to send um, so I'm going to save this and select okay so now if I'm going to beat it should be empty at the moment but you can see that all the customers detail appear in here you can put your company's logo as well uh, on the quote that you're preparing then um, you can upload the drawings upload the drawings I don't have any drawings at the moment but definitely that's what you want to have and have or even if you have other sort of uh, documentation you want to add to this project uh, you can just upload it right away in here um, that's for the sake of now I'm going back to the example that We already have uploaded so you see um, it's a demo example already on Procore I'm going to start taking off the quantity in the next lesson